now we are going to see how to draw this drawing orthographic views of this drawing first we will be drawing the front view so the arrow mark is here so this is going to be our front view so initially we are uh, looking at the properties we are changing it to make 3.5 simplex 3.5 then I am going to draw the first line okay so before that the dimension of the first line is 64 and this line is 60 and the distance is 12 I will try to complete this what I am going to see this here okay ortho on 64 52 plus 12 first I am drawing this line then what I am going to do is I am going to give zoom extends and then I am going to modify the zoom to the suitable scale for me then I am going to continue so I am starting from this end point ok for this to happen the O snap must be on so starting from this point I am keeping ortho on and giving 60 and then I am moving for a distance of 12 coming down a distance of 60 minus 12 which will be 48 and uh, this will be 52 I'm going to join this point okay so next I can I'm going to draw this middle rib okay so this middle rib which is at a distance of 42 from here distance of 42 going to specify a line I am going to start from this point so uh, so for that I have to give an option from point first ok so I will type from for om from first and then I will specify the point from which it needs to come and I am going to give shift at the rate of in x axis 0 in y axis the distance should be 42 ok so I got this point so I am clicking this end point and getting this so what I actually did was using the from point option from here I have moved a distance along the y axis for 42 and I captured this point automatically and then joined this line ok so next I have to uh, this line I will be seeing it it is of a distance of 12 so what I am going to do is I am going to offset ok so modify and then I am going to use the offset command and then select this point and then at a distance 12 ok so I have got this offset so now uh, this view what, uh, what all I can see I have drawn so this is going to be my front view so next I am going to draw my top view so for that I will go and initially draw a rectangle so the distance it has to move along the x axis will be 64 I am hitting the tab button and then the distance it has to move along this direction is going to be so if you look it is 18 plus 12 plus 12 which will be 42 or if you take 15 15 on the other side 30 plus 12 42 so this distance is going to be 42 I have taken this distance ok so now what I have drawn is a rectangle I am going to explode it maybe I am going to offset lines so I need to explode this I have done the explode ok so next what I am going to do is in the top I can see a line offsetted ok so once again I can go for offset command this line it has to be offsetted for a distance of 12 I have drawn this now if you look at that center there is a rib I am going to draw this rib for this I am first drawing a line for a distance of 42 from taking the midpoint ok using the midpoint option I have drawn a line in the center now what I am going to do is I am going to copy this line this line I am selecting I hit enter and select a midpoint and the distance along this side which will be 6 and distance along this side another 6 
okay so now i got a line like this what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the central line and then connect these two lines end points of this line so this is one of the easier way to draw it okay next i have to draw this cut or the rib section here so for this for clear understanding i can use the front point but for you to understand i will use this option line i am going i have to go along this direction for 12 mm okay now i am switching off the ortho and i have to go in this direction 45 degrees i can give or i can give the give the option shift at the rate of okay the rate of 12 comma 12 okay so here what i have to do is instead of uh, going for the tab option i have to go here and right shift at the rate of 12 comma 12 okay so in the command prompt i need to click it so if you press enter so it would be 12 along the x and z directions okay 12 comma 12 this will be the right point so if you have any doubt about the dimensions of it you can uh, just go to annotate and check the dimensions if you want also say what what would be this distance say it is 12 all right okay so now what i am going to do is i am going for modify option and extend i need to extend this line there is one option here okay. i can extend this line up to this end okay and further this okay like this i have extended the line then i am going for the trim option and i am just trimming this two next i will use the mirror option and i will try to mirror this line okay it's easier than the other two so you catch the midpoint here and then you make it as a straight line and then press enter to down already okay click one point for example so what you need to do is you need to be more specific in the point so you can catch this point another midpoint and you can also give this as a midpoint okay now it has come so default is keep the source object yes okay now what we can do is once again go for the trim option and try to trim these lines okay so this is how it is okay then so next what i am going to do is i am going to go for the left side view okay so for this once again i can go for rectangle okay so you have to start from this use this o track option to keep it in line with this point that is important option okay so and then giving some safe distance i am clicking the point here so here what should be the length of it we already know it should be 42 that should be the length hitting the tab button and this will be 60 okay so i am getting this rectangle so directly you can go and explode this if you want straight away because sometimes we may need to do offset command and all so i need to draw a circle what i am going to do is from this point i am going to draw a straight line so ortho one you can give for 21 okay so i am going to use this as the midpoint of a circle and i am going to draw a circle of radius 21 so if you look at the diagram this is how it is okay this uh, radius of the circle it is total distance is 42 so the radius will be 21 this is what i am drawing now so you can go for modify trim and you can trim the unwanted edges that is out there Okay. And finally, you can trim this and also this. Okay. So this is what we want. Now, since we are uh, seeing this from the left hand side, all the other lines will be only dotted. Okay, or dashed lines. Okay. We we can modify that little bit later also. So as we done as we did it in our previous diagram, what we can do is we can. first to draw take up a midpoint and draw a line for a distance of 42 okay and then we can offset this or uh, copy along the both the directions so this side it will be 6 and this side it will be 6 okay 
and then I'm going to delete the middle line and then using the draw option line I will select these two lines okay next what I'm going to do is using the offset command I can offset this line for a distance of 12 mm this is what it is there and simultaneously this also I'm going to offset for a distance of 12 and this side also for a distance of 12 okay now using the trim command I will trim out these two unwanted edges now all these lines which are there in the center are visible and the point is that they are dashed lines so I am just selecting these lines and then going to the properties ok so instead of by layer I am going to give the option dashed and the scale I am modifying it to say 5 ok so if you look at the now they have changed ok so whatever I am going to see from the left hand side these the things will be hidden from me so I am going to represent this by means of dash dot ok so this is the diagram we have got so hope you are easily understood what we have done we have to save this option and then you can go for uh, dimensioning ok so dimensioning you can do the necessary dimensions you can insert the title block and finally take a print out of it ok so our, uh, so your, all the views will look like this you need to add the dimension and the title block okay